To collect the spectrum, we're going to select scan on the touch screen. And then we're going to touch the plus sign. And this will open up a number of options for the instrument. At the top, you can actually give uh, this method a name. Um, you can select whether you're going to look at absorbance or percent transmittance. We're going to stick with absorbance. You can select the wavelength range as well. Uh, I am going to be using some polystyrene cuvettes today, so I'm going to leave this range uh, from 325 to 1100 nanometers. But um, you could go down to 190 nanometers if you're using the proper cuvettes, a quartz cuvette, for instance. So to, to change those, uh, the wavelength range, you simply touch the wavelength that you want to change and then input the wavelength that you're interested in. The interval is uh, the wavelength spacing at which the data will be collected. So a, an absorbance measurement will be collected every two nanometers using the two nanometer interval. If you touch that number, you can see the options that will come up. Um, uh, using this fast speed, we have the option of a 2 nanometer interval or a 5 nanometer interval. Okay. If we change the collection speed to, say, medium, and then go back and change the interval, you can see that we now have different options for the interval. Uh, for our purposes, we're going to use a fast measurement with a 2 nanometer interval. So we can click Continue. Now we need to measure a blank. So I, uh, my solution that I'm going to measure today is a solution in water. So I am going to measure the absorbance of my blank, which will be a cuvette containing pure water. This is the sample compartment. If we open that up, you can see the sample, the cuvette holder. The light passes through this direction. Uh, and so make sure that you, you are uh, putting the cuvettes in here uh, the correct way. Some of the cuvettes are marked so that light only passes through one direction. Then to measure the blank, you touch blank. And you'll see that the instrument says blanking. You'll hear some noises. If for some reason you needed to stop the measurement, you could click stop, but it will finish on its own and then tell you that it's complete. Okay, so now it looks like nothing has it really happened other than the, the complete uh, came up, uh, but the, the blank has been measured. So now we can measure the absorbance of a sample. And I forgot to mention, if you wanted to be specific uh, on the name here, we're going to measure a solution that is orange. We could put that name in there. All right, so we can remove the blank. Input our sample. This is our orange sample. Close the lid. And then we can touch measure. The instrument will say measuring, and you can actually see the absorbance being collected at each wavelength. And then we get complete. Um, we can use the spectrum that's shown on the screen. Uh, you can slide um, these wavelength selectors around if you want to determine the peak maximum. Uh, you can also dial in. So uh, you could select, say, I wanted to look at the absorbance at 450 nanometers. Uh, we could do that, and it will tell you um, 
in the table below. So the absorbance at 450 nanometers is 0.6 uh, absorption units or arbitrary units. Uh, and there are three different wavelength options. If you wanted to look at different peaks, you could select those. And when you're done with this sample, uh, you simply remove the sample from the cuvette, clean out your cuvettes when you're done, and that is how to obtain the spectrum uh, of a sample.